Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Car reading. What the fuck is wrong with him or her? Subscribers request. This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different options. Option one. Option two, option three, and quattro, option four. As always, timestamps will be provided Think of the person you have a problematic connection with and make your selection. If you chose the first crystal, here is your reading. As I so often remind my audience, I'm not some guru on a mountaintop. I'm not a star seed from Arcturus or where the fuck ever. I'm just a basic 51 year old stay at home mom shuffling some cards in San Antonio, Texas. Strong emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes. Starting with the Healing Light Tarot, Chariot at Caro, Cancer, Queen of Cups, Reina de Copas. Six of Swords, Ace de Espadas. Six is Venus. My favorite tarot deck on the planet, the Zoltun Mayan Tarot. Queen of Swords, Reina de Espadas, Hanged Man, El Clagado, Ten of Staffs, Ten of Wands, Deus de Bastos, Looking at the stove clock, it's 3.03 p.m. San Antonio, Texas, 3 and 3, that's 6. Venus, make a wish if you feel like making a wish. Timeless reading, but as I record this, we are in the energy of the full moon in Scorpio, Tuesday, 23 April, 2024. Intense transformation may be caught for. Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo, five of spades, five of swords, Cinco de Espadas. Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Pentacles, Aste Oros. Got my Scorpio candle. Ten of Wands, Ten of Clubs, they, they boss those. Again, I can't make this shit up. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with this person? This person to put it in a very crass, crude, vulgar, rude way. This person has mommy issues. Um, perhaps their mom, their mother is a narcissist or simply avoidant. Um, maybe their mother is or was emotionally unavailable, maybe even abusive, maybe this person was abandoned by their mom. They are not adept at emotional intimacy. <clears throat> this person lacks emotional intelligence. They don't know how to treat people. They don't know how to conduct themselves in a romantic sexual relationship. They come across very lusty, very hit it and quit it. This person is easily triggered 
They have a very fragile ego. Uh, this person may have blocked you recently. You stepped on their toes in some way. You hurt their feelings. You triggered them. Uh, this person is not conscious. They have a profound lack of self-awareness. They are operating at a deficit. And they know on some level, they're not aware, but they know on some level that they're not exactly connecting with the people around them. So they could just bury themselves in work. They could be a workaholic. And that's how they deal with their demons is by just working and by not facing the problems. They wouldn't know where to begin with shadow work. They probably don't know what shadow work is. I doubt this person's on a spiritual path. They probably don't meditate. They are probably on their phone a lot when they're at work, on breaks. Um, they're just constantly doom scrolling. They could be into conspiracy theories. I feel like this person's energy is very dark. It's very dense. It's very negative. I see them having problems with everyone. Siblings, friends, coworkers. It's like that Bukowski poem. It's war all the time with this person. There's a Bukowski poetry collection, War All the Time. And I'm pretty sure there is a poem with that title. And so this person is just always angsty. They're mad. They're fighting. I see them maybe taking um, meds for anxiety. They could have bipolar. They could have... Uh, Borderline personality disorder, but this energy is very chaotic and messy. This person has no peace of mind. A possible astral combo for this person. I feel like they have a lot of stuff in the 12th house. So they could have sun and moon in Pisces. Aries rising, which would put their sun and moon in the 12th house. Could have Mercury. In Pisces, Mercury does not do well in Pisces. I have Mercury in Pisces myself, and it's a motherfucker. It's a very difficult energy to grapple with. If you are born into a family that's not creative and not educated, as I was, it takes you years to figure out how to deal with Mercury in Pisces and how to really access it and just go balls to the wall with it and create like your ass is on fire, which is what I've done. So yeah, this person could be a frustrated musician. Maybe they've tried to get some gigs or they've tried to have success with their music and alas, whatever they're doing, it's not catching fire. Yeah, that's what I see for pile one. Hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. I am always available for private readings. I do this full time. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And if you chose the second crystal, here is your reading, starting with the Healing Light Tarot, Knight of Pentacles, Caballo de Oros, Queen of Swords, Rana de Espadas, Strength, La Fuerza, probably not saying that right. My favorite deck on the planet, the Mayan Zoltun. The Lord of Cups, King of Cups, Ray of Copas. The Lovers, the Lovers, Las Enamorados. Two of Swords, Dos de Espadas. Two is Cancer, the Moon, timeless reading, but as I record this, we're in the energy of the full moon in Scorpio. Happy manifesting. Six, Venus, six of diamonds, six of pentacles, seis, the oros. Another two, two of clubs, two of wands, those the bastos. Another two, I cannot make this shit up. Two of diamonds, two of pentacles, those the oros. This is similar to pile one. To be crude, to be crass, to be vulgar, to be tacky. This person could have mommy issues. 
their mom, their mother simply was not there for them. Um, they may have been abandoned or neglected by their mom, by their mother when they were young. Their mother could have died when they were young. And to a young child, they take that personally. It doesn't matter if the mom left them through death or by choosing to leave. It's still rejection and betrayal to a young child. So they did not get the nurture they needed. They did not get unconditional love and support from their mom especially. Um, their mom could have been an addict or she just simply wasn't there. This person could be grappling with an addiction, could be an alcoholic, could be anything, but I'm seeing specifically alcoholic. Um, basically, this person is never satisfied. They don't know how to fill their own cups, which is very common. They look to other people. They look to the external for validation. Uh, they could go from relationship to relationship, and it's just garden variety, toxic codependency. And this person could have a tendency to scapegoat their partner. Well, I wouldn't have, okay, trigger warning, I guess, if you need one. I wouldn't have hit you or I wouldn't have lashed out at you. I wouldn't have yelled at you. I wouldn't have cheated on you if you had done X, Y, Z. So it's your fault. It's always the other person's fault. They take zero accountability for themselves, for their life. They are not karmically responsible, shall we say. Their karma is fucked. And they're going to be stuck in this karmic loop. They're going to come back to planet Earth, God help them, again and again and again until they get it right. This person's in the dark, very similar to Pile 1. They're not conscious. They're not aware of the shitty energy they're putting out there. They lack gratitude. They're always complaining. And it's always the other person's fault. It's never their fault. There could be an age gap in this connection. You could be a few years older. You're definitely more emotionally intelligent and self-aware than this person. You may have blocked this person because you were just tired of their shit. A possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun and Scorpio, Taurus rising, Moon and Leo. I feel like they have a lot of fixed energy in their natal chart. Very stubborn, very self-absorbed. It's their way or the highway. You can't please this person. This person's never satisfied. And I'm getting a J name. I don't go too crazy with the names of this channel. If something pops out, it pops out. Jason, Jake, Jacob, JJ, Jennings, last name. Um, Jared, Jarek, Jude, Jorgensen, um, Juniper. I've never known anyone named Juniper, but you never know. Yeah, that's what I see from Pile 2. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. I am always available for private readings. I do this full time. All the info's in every box. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Crystal 3, here is your reading. What the fuck is wrong with this person? Starting with the healing life tarot. <laughs> It's like I was saying for pile one, I'm not some guru on a mountaintop. I'm not a star seed from Arcturus or wherever the fuck star seeds come from. Apparently star seeds come from all over the place and they choose to come to earth to raise the vibration of the planet. But I don't think that's my assignment. I don't think I'm here to raise the vibration. I grapple raising my own. I'm just a basic bitch from the North Texas sticks. I'm just a 51 year old stay at home mom surviving on black coffee and smoothies shuffling some cards on youtube heavy emphasis at this heavy emphasis at this channel trying to cram a lot of syllables in before i get to the cards heavy emphasis at this channel on entertainment purposes i am not ai i am a real human being four of pentacles quatro de oros four is aquarius 
Five is Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. <laughs> five of Wands, Cinco de Bastos. Ten is one, Leo the Sun. Ten of Wands, they is the Bastos. My favorite deck on this planet, the Mayans, Old Tune Tarot. How can you raise your vibration if you're a woman on planet Earth? Um, I recommend vibrators. So you can invest in a vibrator or vibrators. Um, I recommend fucking around with FL Studio and Audacity. That's what I've done all day is fuck around with uh, FL Studio and Audacity. I have a new EP out. I'm averaging about one new EP or album a day lately. That's just, that's my life is music. Um, my latest EP, it's on Ebulence Press at YouTube. It's called Biological Grandmother. Eight of Cups, Ocho de Copas. The Tower, La Torre. Ten of Jades, Ten of Pentacles, Diz, the Oros. Five of Divas, Five of Pentacles, Cinco de Oros. To a Space, to a Source, those the Espadas. Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros. Okay. What is wrong with this person? Well, what I see in these cards is that this person was married to someone they were crazy in love with. Borderline obsession, not to go too dark, but I'm seeing OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown Simpson. So this person, maybe they're not a murderer, maybe they didn't abuse their spouse, but they were married to someone they were crazy in love with. And even when the marriage ended, they were still obsessed with the ex and their ex may have had to put a restraining order on them. Um, even though this person moved on to other relationships, they never really let go of this person they were married to. And they probably had a child or children with this person. And if you were involved with this person, romantically, sexually, they may have complained to you a lot about the ex. And that was your first of many red flags with this person. Um, they constantly go on about their ex, what their ex did wrong, how their ex took them to court and sued them for child support, how their ex cheated on them, how their ex just used them for money. So I'm seeing a common theme here in all three of these piles, someone who, and it doesn't have to be a man, it can be a woman, whatever, someone who does not take accountability for their life. They scapegoat other people. They blame other people. The ball is never in their court. They don't take ownership of their life, basically. They play the blame game, the poor me, the poor pitiful victim. Uh, they feel like Life has cheated them. They could have a better life. Their life would be so much better if only they had had better parents, if only they had had a better marriage. Um, this person really sucks at communication. They're paranoid. They're reactive. They're easily triggered. You may be in one of those connections where it's block, unblock, you blocked this person, you saw the red flags, you blocked them, and then you thought, oh, well, this person is really attractive or the sex was really good. I'm going to give them another chance. And you try and you try and you just can't get along with this person because this person can't get along with most people. Um I feel like this person is broke. I feel like they are broke and they're bitter. They're going to Coinstar. They're going to get the payday loans. They have credit cards. They're in debt. 
up to their eyeballs. They have a really shitty credit score. Um, they could currently be couch surfing. They could be staying in someone's basement, someone's guest room. Uh, they could be just waiting for the eviction notice. <laughs> oh, man. I got one of those once. It was years ago. It was uh, 2005. No, it was 2004, Albuquerque. I had this shitty little studio apartment, and I got an eviction notice. That sucked. Yeah, their phone has been turned off. They can't pay their Verizon bill. They can't pay their rent. Uh, they're taking their guitar to the pawn shop. Um they're breaking into vehicles. They're breaking into houses. I feel like this person does have a criminal record. They could be in jail right now, jail, prison. They could be on parole, probation. Um, I'm seeing a rage, a holic. This person has really intense anger issues. M, I'm getting an M name. Misty, that's my name. Uh, Michael, that's my husband's name. Mitch, Mitchell. Mark, Marcus, Malcolm, Mortimer, uh, Marsha, Melinda, Macy. Yeah, a possible astro combo for this person. They could have Sun in Gemini, Aries rising, Moon in Libra. I feel like they have a lot of masculine energy, fire, air. They probably have a fire Mercury. Well, if they have Sun and Gemini, they couldn't have a fire Mercury. Because if you have Sun and Gemini, your Mercury is either in Gemini, Cancer, or Taurus. Maybe they have Sun and Aries, Mercury and Aries, Mars and Aries. They could have a fuck ton of stuff in Aries or a fuck ton in the first house. They could have an aspect that I have, which is very problematic, uh, Mars square Pluto, you are going to have anger issues if you've got Mars square Pluto. So, yeah, that's what I see for pile three. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. I am always available for private readings. I do this full time. All the info's in every box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Clotro Crystal for starting with the Healing Light Tarot, we have Page of Cups, Soda de Copas, Two of Cups, Dos de Copas, Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oros. This person's a romantic. If this person is not treating you very well, say you're in a connection with this person. You met online, you met at Instagram, there was some flirtation, maybe some sexting, and then this person just kind of showed you ambivalence, if they've showed you hot and cold behavior, it could be because this person is a very frustrated romantic. Someone at some point broke this person's heart. They haven't been the same since. Let's keep going. My favorite tarot deck, the Zoltun Mayan Tarot. I did what the fuck is their problem a few days ago and someone left a comment. I hope that you do what the fuck is wrong with them next. So I guess there's a subtle difference between what the fuck is their problem and what the fuck is wrong with them. So that's what we're exploring in this pick a card reading. What the fuck is wrong with this person? Hmm. Yeah, that's the lovers, Los Enamorados. I'm not crazy about the way this card looks. It's just very odd to me. I would rather see a passionate embrace, but there's this distance between the lovers. Uh, the masculine and the feminine are not integrated. There's a disconnect. Nine of staffs, nine of wands, and they did they... Bustos, 
Four of Jades, Four of Pentacles, Quatro de Oros. Yeah, this person is still hung up on an ex. Similar to Pile 3, but not quite as crazy and intense and dark. Um, this person is crying over someone who broke their heart. And this could be a childhood sweetheart. This could be someone they fell for, maybe their first love, high school, college. They haven't let go. They're energetically attached to this ex. Um, and this person's very feminine in their energy. They're able to access their emotions. I see them sitting around crying, maybe drinking wine, beer, vodka, whiskey, and they're listening to songs that remind them of this person. Nine of Hearts, Nine of Cups, Nine of the Copas. Queen of Spades, Queen of Swords, Rana de Espadas. Yeah, Nine of Clubs, Nine of Wands, Nine of Depositos. They're hung up on an X. That is what is wrong with them. They feel that their X is their twin flame, maybe, or their soulmate. And so regardless if this is a man or a woman... This person is the Divine Feminine. If you've done a little bit of research, if you've watched a few Twin Flame videos, you know the Divine Feminine. It's not about gender. The Divine Feminine is the Chaser. The Divine Masculine is the Runner. This is the Divine Feminine, this person. And I'm getting an E name. I don't get too into the names of this channel, but if it pops into my head, it pops into my head. So, uh, Eric... Uh, Ezra, Ezekiel, my favorite thing is Ezekiel bread. Put it in the oven because I'm on a toaster with uh, butter, garlic, salt, feta cheese. So fucking good. Yeah, they could have a biblical name like Ezra or Ezekiel. Um, Enoch, Enos, Enos. <laughs> uh, Lake Erie, I don't know. Um Eric or Lanson, wasn't he the guitarist in Hull? Eric or Lanson, I think he was a cancer, is a cancer. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of feminine energy for this person, regardless of their gender. Uh, this person could have sun in Scorpio, Sagittarius rising, moon in Aquarius. That's one possibility of many. But in their mind, no one can measure up to this person they're attached to, this person that rejected them. This person that probably blocked them. This person broke their heart. No one can compare. So I can see them listening to that Sinead O'Connor song. Well, Prince wrote it, but Sinead O'Connor turned it into a hit. Nothing compares to you. She even tears up in the video, but apparently she said she was thinking of her mother. I guess her mother had died and she was still mourning her mother when she made the video. All the flowers that you planted, Mama, in the backyard all died when you went away. Anyway... Sinead O'Connor was Sagittarius. Um, but this person is very spiritual, philosophical. They tend to hide away from the world. I can see them being in full-on hermit mode. And they're just saturating themselves in this sadness. Thinking of this ex. Uh, dreaming of this ex they've not released. And if they've talked to you, if they flirted with you, maybe you actually had a relationship with this person. Maybe you actually had sex and there was real exchange. You felt like they were always distant. They were always unavailable. So technically it was or is third party. Third party does not have to mean that you're cheating on someone or that it's extramarital or an affair. It can mean you're involved with someone who is still energetically attached to an ex and they can't really be there for you. They can't be emotionally available because their feelings are so intense for the ex. I don't feel like they were married to this person. They could have been. I feel like it was a really intense connection and they fell hard and they fell fast. Uh, and that may have been the catalyst as it is for many people, they went down the rabbit hole and they researched twin flames and they got into tarot and crystals and Reiki, maybe. I see this person meditating. And they've tried to release this person, but they can't. And so they can't really be there for you. 
Yeah, that's what I see for pile four. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.